camera set up for members, you know, we're going to be yeah, doing okay. like, you All know, right, and then right. we got a red carpet so people can walk through. See? Anna Johnson, so I understand that you are one of the scholarship recipients tonight. How does that feel? Tell me a little bit about that. I'm grateful for this experience and I'm very humbled to be selected as a James Stevens recipient. My name is Taquan McClellan. Taquan McClellan? Yes, ma'am. That's good stuff. So let me ask you, you're going to school. Where are you thinking about going and what are you going to study? Well, I'm going to attend Clemson University and study in physical therapy. So now what's your name? Khadija Bethe. Khadija Bethe. Yes, that kind of like just rolls off your tongue. Khadija <laughs> Bethe. Khadija Bethe. Am I saying that correctly? Yes, Khadija Bethe. Yes, so anyway, now tell me about how does it actually feel to be a scholarship award recipient? Oh, it feels good. It's special. Something special. Something new. Um, we're going to Winthrop and I'm majoring in forensics. Forensics. Now, what's that going to entail? Tell me a little bit about that. Like investigating murders. Okay, wow. So it's like a little CSI yes, South Carolina thing you got yes. going on. <laughs> Your name again is Imani. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Now, Thank Imani, you. what are you thinking about doing as far as going to school? Where are you going to go and where um, are you going to study? I'm going to un the University of South Carolina upstate in Spartanburg, mm -hmm. and I'm um, majoring in nursing. Ooh, nursing. Now, growing up, is that something that you were always interested in, nursing? Yeah, but about the same. I want to be a um, pediatric nurse or neonatal, so... I Growing up, I wanted to be a pediatrician, then I found out how many years, so I had to bring it down to a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just keeping it honest, right? Just keeping yes, it real. <laughs> All right, well, hello, how are you, and what is your name, beautiful young lady? My name's Holly Davis, and I'm from Dillon, South Carolina. Oh, you're the one from Dillon. We've been hearing some yes. good things about you. Now, let me ask you, first of all, this dress is amazing, and the Thank shoes you. and everything. Go ahead and, and, and profile it. Style it, girl. <laughs> On the catwalk. It's a great honor just to represent my school. I go to a small private school and it's Dillon Christian School. And just to represent them and have the James Stevens Scholarship is a great honor. Hey, Ricky, and what's your last name, Ricky? Roberts. Ricky Roberts, like a little R&R. &R. Oh, yeah. Good R stuff. R squared. Yeah, R squared, <laughs> you get that all the time? Yeah. I'm JJ, so it's like J squared, so we're nice. R and J. <laughs> I'm sure everybody cares about that. But anyway, so now what school do you attend? I'm from Lada High School. Lada High School, oh yeah. Now what are you going to do with the scholarship? Where are you going to school and what are you going to study? All right, well, I'm going to the College of Charleston and I'm going to study music and possibly pursue a minor degree in theater. I'm Shardé Rush. So where are you from? I'm from the, um, Raleigh, North Carolina. So what school? Millbrook High School. Ah, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> You're excited. Look at you all giggly and giddy. That's good. So um, as far as being a recipient here tonight, what is it like to be a recipient of this scholarship here? I've been searching for scholarships. And with school I'm going to, um, they give you scholarships. But to actually like win one and be a recipient for it, it's kind of breathtaking. It's like you can't really say much because it's like words can't explain how, how you feel. Uh, it's an honor, you know, to be selected out of so many people that applied and to be thought highly of from Mr. Stevens and his family and the foundation. Mm -hmm. It's a great honor. You're going to school in the fall, right? Yes, where are you thinking about going and where are you going to study? Uh, I'm going to Mars Hill College mm -hmm. in Mars Hill, North Carolina. Some say love will break your heart. Some Margo LaDuke, what's going on? How are you? I'm awesome. I'm gr happy to be here to support my friend. And I love James. He's amazing. Well, you know, we have to do the real red carpet thing. I've got to look at your outfit, of course. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing you rocking some stuff. And look at those shoes. Amazing. Oh, and the jewelry you. to match. And your hair is so fly. I love it. Thank you. Absolutely love it. Now, tell me about some of the projects that you're working on. I understand that you've been doing some stuff, some voice by Margot. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I've invented an apparatus that you put in your mouth that helps you sing better. The vocalator? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> and um, I've been touring around to different churches all over the United States, and I'll come anywhere. Um, and I usually work with choirs or praise teams or community, you know, community stuff. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's this thing that I invented because people wouldn't open their mouth to sing. They would just sing, and they'd, or they'd open it too wide. or you know. And you, it's about finding the sweet spot. And so I invented this thing, and I'm, 
it's taking off and it's it's wonderful. So you're doing the seminars and you're workshops, traveling around the yep, workshops. Singing, yep. And there's also a voice by Margot C D from what I understand. Right, right? a two disc C D that, that um, teaches you how to sing. It's like having a lesson with me. Uh -huh. And uh, it's kinda cool. So they use them in schools, like if a math teacher has to come and teach, they just pop that in. Yeah, so so yeah. nice. And you've been in the business for quite some time. Yes. Not everybody realizes just how long you've been doing this and work with many artists. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I work with Denise Williams, uh, the Manhattans, Bloodstone, a bunch of old school R&B mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then just recently in the last seven or eight years, I, I started opening. Um, and then I got discovered, I guess you can say. <laughs> By Mr. Paul Hardcastle, mm -hmm. who is, um, I, I got two cuts on his CD. Last summer he dropped a CD. Uh, it's Paul Hardcastle 6. Okay. And folks can find out more about you. On my website. All right. Which is? Voicebymargo.com. Voicebymargo.com. Like me on Facebook. I <laughs> know. Like me on Facebook. <laughs> well, thanks so much and stay beautiful. Awesome. Patrick Hall, the man, the myth, the legend, oh, yes. the one and only Patrick the, the Hall. Perfect introduction. Wasn't that great? Actually, yes, Did I say it like you wanted me to? Oh, yes. <laughs> music to my ears. I know. Now, speaking of music, you are so wonderful. I heard you in there rehearsing earlier. Great. And you have the American Idol fame. Tell me what that was like. Just well, season five, mm -hmm. I, um, I actually got an opportunity to, uh, to perform in front of Paula back in my home state of Arkansas mm -hmm. prior to season five, and she was a little bit taken with me and said she would like to sponsor me, and in fact she did. She called me up before the last audition uh, for season five and said, uh, can you be in Las Vegas in about 24 hours? And I said, <laughs> yes, ma'am. So I did. I flew out, and then I uh, consequently uh, made it to the top, uh, top 12 male finalists that year and sang in front of 35 million people. And, Although I was eliminated, I uh, had a great experience and and, um, and have done some cool things since then. So you're continuing to do things like you're saying. Um, tell me what your new projects are. Well, actually, um, more recently, I just started working for Celebrity Cruise Lines, mm -hmm. one of the premier cruise lines in the world. They, um, they're a world, worldwide company uh, with ports all over the place. Mm -hmm. I uh, just got done uh, spending the winter time in the Caribbean. Ooh, must and, be nice. Uh, oh, it was <laughs> spectacular. And uh, leaving in about a week to uh, to head to um, to Europe, as a matter of fact. Ooh. So, so what time did we leave? <laughs> yeah, I uh, I don't know if there's room for you in my bag. They're pretty. They check those things they pretty close. Getting on those cruise ships, you know. But no, I'm excited about it. I uh, I've got some really neat opportunities. Uh, working on a recording in Nashville. Uh, anticipate a release within the next uh, few months mm. for that and um, just looking forward to traveling the world and doing my thing. Okay, well much yeah. success to you and we'll look Thank forward you. to seeing you in Thank there you. and tinkling the ivories or good, tickling good the ivories. Here at, uh, good to be here at this uh, foundation. Well glad to have you Thank here. You. Thank you darling. Faye Hauser Price, you got to turn around and let everybody see it oh now. Let's goodness. see what you got going on. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sparkle here. That's one of the great <laughs> things about the red carpet is just seeing all the outfits and whatnot. So tell us what you have going on. You are the accomplished actress, director, producer, the whole nine yards. Yes. Talk about that. Some of the things well, you have going on. Well, I'm, I'm. First of all, I'm working on a solo performance piece Ooh, for myself, okay. which I used to do a, quite a while ago. But I'm gonna pull that back out of the hat because I've got some things that I want to say to some young people. Oh, are, really? Yes. Yes. Tell me so, about that. What are those things well, you're trying to say? Well, you know. <laughs> Just to, so that we are grounded uh -huh. in our history, That's in good. our accomplishments, so that we can soar, right? Ooh, you know, I'm liking that. <laughs> now, yes. tell me about some of the other projects that you've well, worked on I, over the years. Well, I just finished doing a, a piece in Glee, which aired recently, so it'll be in reruns, I'm uh -huh. sure, by the end of the season. Uh -huh. And um, I, I got my start um, in New York on the mm -hmm. on this Broadway stage, uh, doing Pearly with. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Bob Guillaume. Yes, I, I did exactly. Roots, uh, Roots 2. Mm -hmm. I was Carrie Barden in that mm -hmm. miniseries. And like all the old kind of stuff that I've done is good times, what's happening. Everybody mm -hmm. knows me from those things. You have but I was on The Young and the Restless for a while, too. Wow. About, about so five all years. the ladies watching the stories and so yes, they don't remember yes, you, of course, yes, right? Yes. Well, you keep being beautiful, and I hope that everything goes well with your new projects. Yes. And I know. And you've got a beautiful spirit. I'm talking about that a lot tonight because this is just a wonderful get together and whatnot. And tell us about how you kind of got involved with James. Well, my James husband Stevens. is Lewis Price. Right. And um, James and Lewis used to play ball together, uh -oh, among uh -oh. other things. So, <laughs> so I know James from there. But also, I used to work with a foundation called the Kwanzaa Foundation. Okay. We were a charitable mm -hmm. foundation for battered women mm -hmm. and, um, shelter. 
And James came to a couple of our fundraisers, and I knew him from that as well. Oh, so, yeah. wonderful. So we've always been in the giving area, in the you well, know giving back thing. area. That's so. a good thing. It yeah. really is. Well, I'm so glad to have you out here tonight. Well, thank okay. you. Thank you. Jerry Rochelle. You look gorgeous, girl. Let's see what you're wearing. Turn it around. Let's see. Turn it around. All right. And look at those shoes. Amazing. Thank and you. look at the hosiery. <laughs> You're just the oh. getting a little fancy tonight. Okay, you're fancy. You're yeah. super fancy. Yes. So now talk to me. You are known as what? The fake Jan Brady. Yes. Yes. Now yes. you have a lot of fame when it comes from the Brady Bunch the Brady Hour. Bunch. Talk yes. to talk to us about that a little bit, please. Well, in 1976 and 1977, mm -hmm. I was Jan Brady. Mm -hmm. On the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, it was an hour-long television series. We had singing and dancing, swimmers, famous guest stars on our show each week, mm -hmm. and um, it was just a lot of fun. And uh, it was the best thing, I think, one of the best things I did in my career because I got to sing and dance, and that's one of my favorite things mm -hmm. to do. So are you going to come a little step for us right here? Anything? <laughs> no? <laughs> no? I can't move at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Now, you have been traveling the country, of course, over the many years. Yes. And you're actually from the West Coast, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And where are you kind of like about and around now? Oh, as right far now as... I'm trying out the East Coast. Yeah, you like the East and Coast. And I love the East Coast. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot different than California, and I mm -hmm. like change and new things so mm -hmm. uh, I said why not you know yeah. you know life changes and I'm just trying the, the East Coast for the, a while. The East Coast? Yeah. Coming up any projects with anything anytime soon? Um, well right now I'm doing um, autograph signing shows. Okay. And right now I have one in August mm -hmm. at uh, it'll be the Mid-Atlantic Nostalgia Convention. Right. Shirley Jones is going to be there, Dennis the Menace, Margaret from that television series mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's just gonna be a lot of fun and it's a three-day event and I get to meet a lot of my fans, and they're very sweet and kind, and uh, I just love meeting them all. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now, I understand that you have two amazing kids, and yes. I want to know all about them. I mean, like the Cliff's Notes version, of course, but anyway. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> well, my son, JJ, stands for James Joseph. Mm -hmm. uh, he's 28. He's a California State Park Ranger, which is a police officer for the California State Parks. Mm -hmm. And uh, my daughter is uh, will be graduating from high school. High school. Oh my gosh. Oh, she probably appreciates what, what? that. Oh, she? she's gonna kill me from college. <laughs> and she's 25. Erin Nicole. Okay. And uh, I, my kids are both very amazing. Mm. Um, very, very good. Uh, very good uh, young adults. Mm. Yes. So now, what's the secret? You just have such spunk. I mean, you're just like bubbling over. What's the secret? Tell me about that. You know, it's just living a good, clean life, mm -hmm. and always feeling young at heart. And um, never feeling old. Right. And always wearing a T-shirt that's an imaginary T-shirt <laughs> that has a circle on it with a line through it, and it says stress-free. So the less stress, the better in your life to keep you youthful, young, happy, vibrant, and just staying positive. Oh, wow. Well, you're definitely oozing over here on me, so I appreciate <laughs> that. Ooze, 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 ooze. <laughs> Thank you so you're much. You're welcome. Uh, He's going to cut up. I already know it. I no. feel it. Yes, I'm you good. are. I feel I'm it. Good. Lewis you Price, yes. what's going on, man? Well, How are you? Everything is good. I'm really blessed and uh, so glad to be here at the James Stevenson uh, um, celebration and college gift, you know, for the kids and stuff. And this is a wonderful thing for me. Mm. Privilege. Now, you have a, a vocal range in the whole nine yards like many people cannot even imagine. Uh, thank Talk you. to us about that. Like, what uh, is the secret and how long have you been singing? It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, um, singing as, um, as a child. Uh, in fact, came out singing pretty much. You came much. out singing? Yeah. My uh, family is a singing family. And that was a prerequisite that everybody had to sing, otherwise they'd put you up for adoption. My wife don't like me to tell that. But after the age of two, if you couldn't sing, they test you, boom, boom, boom. Hey, if you couldn't sing, you got to go. You know, so uh, that was a prerequisite. Now you sang with the Temptations. Now that had to have been yeah. exciting. Talk to us about that. Great experience. Um, I was teaching school in mm -hmm. uh, 1970. <laughs> 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 they, uh, I got a call from. Uh, the Temptations, and they asked me to come out, fly out to uh, Los Angeles to audition for The Temptations. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was very, very fortunate, very blessed, and I, I made the uh, lead singer mm -hmm. uh, spot, and that was a great experience. I was with them for about three years, and it was a great experience, Wonder mm -hmm. wonderful experience. And tonight are you performing as well? Yeah, tonight I'm going to perform. James Stevens, uh, he's a great friend of mine, and every time he asks me to come out, I always try to come. It's for a worthy cause. It's for the kids uh, uh, trying to go to college and get them uh, computers and things mm -hmm. like that. So it's a really, really great cause. And every time he calls me, 
if I'm available, I'm here. Well, good. Well, we're looking yeah. forward to seeing you tonight. And I think they're actually calling you now, so go okay. get them. They're calling me, but before I go, I have uh -oh. to let people know what's going on. I just did Jimmy Kimmel Live, you know, with uh, Crystal Method and yeah. Martha Reed. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I finished working on an album um, with uh, Elton John, mm -hmm. uh, which is, I'm anxious to hear it because it was some great songs that we worked on. Uh, and that's pretty much, I think, coming out soon. I did the Lorax. I did Happy Feet too. Ooh. You know, just so people can kind of like tune in to what's yeah, going on in good. Lewis Price's life. That's today. good. So how can they find out more mm -hmm. about that? How can they find out more about that on your website? Uh, yeah, online? they can look on my website at lewispricemusic.com. Lewispricemusic.com. Yes. Did we leave anything off as far as your projects? Uh, we did, but we don't have time. <laughs> he just has like a scroll okay. of stuff, so I guess <laughs> yeah. so. Good. But anyway, much success to you, and thank you so uh, much for hanging out with us. Uh, thank you for having me. All right, have fun tonight. All right, take care. God bless you. Right. Thank you. Uh-oh, here you go. Uh, go ahead. Mr. Tommy the Man Ford. What's going on? Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, and who's this beautiful lady right here? I don't know. Someone who I just saw in the parking lot. Say, hey, lady, would you mind um, being my date tonight? And, and you said yes? Uh, yes. <laughs> What's your name? Vivian. Vivian. I hear a little accent. Something's going on in there, right? Good deal. And so, Tommy Ford, it's yeah. good to see you. You are doing some great things I'm hearing. Tell me about some of the projects that you have going on and some things that you have coming up soon. Wow, there's so many amazing things happening. I've been in Atlanta for the last year and a half directing mm -hmm. and producing new shows. I have a couple just um, sold to a couple of major production companies. So just doing some films, a new film coming out called Coming Correct. Another one just released a few months ago called Switching the Script. And it's just been I've probably the last year and a half developed and created probably more than 10 or 12 different films and television shows and reality shows. And so just been blessed. So many wonderful things have been happening. So how do you do it all? I mean, busy man, continue to do wonderful things over many years. How do you hold it all together? Well, you know, um, I used to think that I, it was because I worked so hard, but now I understand that my mama prayed for me, <laughs> had me on her <laughs> mind. And I think coming from a wonderful family, mm -hmm. great spiritual family, my dad was an MP in the Navy, wow. so he had, a, he had a, a slogan in our household that says, nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream, get off your butt and do something. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's really what it, which is, makes it so ironic. So when they start doing that, I don't have a job stuff on the march. I'm like, uh-uh, y'all mm -hmm. can't do that. <laughs> but my daddy told me all my life I have to work. A man who doesn't work don't eat. And I got, I'm a big man with a big appetite. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of tall there. I think uh -huh. you might be a little hungry every now and then. Absolutely. Wow. Well, you have a beautiful spirit. You know, a lot of people have been coming through here, and they just have a, an amazing spirit. But you are also hilarious. I mean, and you've got like a little um, a little swag thing going on as far as just taking care of everybody and yourself and the misses and all of that other stuff. You're just like the rounded, a well-rounded, you are the man, really. Well, I wish I could take credit for that. But like I said, I have an amazing parents and family who just loved on me all my life. Yeah. So that's all I know how to do is yes. love in return. Yes, and you've been giving back to the community a lot. Tell us a bit about that as well. Well, um, I think that our responsibility for those who, who have been blessed mm -hmm. um, is to give back, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I can't just get what I can, can what I get, then sit on my can. <laughs> Hello, walls. So... That's really a, a part, I believe, of our ministry mm -hmm. is to continuously give back, is to continually do for others, is to continue to the gifts that were given to us to make mm -hmm. sure that we become a gift to someone else. So, um, you know, I think that's just, again, what, what I was trained to do. So I'm just living off my ancestors and my parents and my, you know, family, just what we, what we do. You have a beautiful servant spirit. That's what I'm feeling, a servant spirit. Yes, to whom so much is given, much, much is, is required. required. Well, we look forward to seeing you on stage tonight. You're actually hosting tonight, I understand. Well, I heard that I was co-hosting. I don't know. <laughs> but to uh, but we, to uh, we shall see. But to uh, Well, I'm sure whatever's going on, you're going to rock it because you are the man. Well, thank Thanks so you. much, Tommy. All right. Much success to you, you. And you too, beautiful. Thank you. We have the one, the only, the fabulous Melba Moore, the one and only. You Interviewed look beautiful. By the marvelous JJ. <laughs> she she did that just like we performed it, right? Now tell me about your outfit first of all, because this is amazing. Let's take a look oh, at it. Oh, okay. This is uh, by an up and coming uh, designer. His name is Adrian Alessio, and he's among quite a few. Now that I 
gut muscle kind of fit that are helping to dress me for my next level of uh, glamour, <laughs> I hope. Well, now that's what we're here to talk about also. I've been hearing all kinds of great things that you have going on, a new project. Tell me a little bit about the new project. Well, the album is tentatively called Forevermore, and we have a CD single released uh, entitled Love Is, and that's a project I'm, I'll be working on to hopefully have released by the fall. Now, Ms. Moore, you have been around for a long time, and I mean, you've done everything from Broadway to music, your, your, your philanthropic, philanthropic, shall I say, you get a little tongue-tied when you get excited about people like you. But I mean, your efforts have just been amazing. What's in your heart that makes you want to do great things for folks, the way that you've done it, your music and your art, and you know, just taking care of the community and everything? Well, I'm under the blood, but... <laughs> well, that's... that's <laughs> First and most important. <laughs> and of course, I come from a family that is community service oriented, and um, we do. We belong to the church community. I'm Catholic, but I've been brought up uh, Baptist and uh, Presbyterian, several different Christian re religions, but all of them uh, teach us that if we want to be at the head, we have to serve. Oh, so I we, like it. we develop by being in a community of servants, a heart mm. for service. Mm, that's good stuff. And you're getting ready to hit the road, I think, shortly as well. Aren't you going on a tour overseas? Uh, Tell well, I've just come that. back from um, my first um, live concert tour in London and mm -hmm. Birmingham and uh, Manchester, England. Uh, but the songs are old. They're songs that were very successful over there, but were never released, released here. Oh, okay. So. Um, I didn't know the songs, I had to learn them. <laughs> so, I, you know, I was wondering what, what God said. He said, sing to the Lord a new song. I said, but I got no new songs. He said, well, you ain't never sung these before for me. Good, and some good. of them really kind of prophetic, like one of them has been a huge hit. It's called Standing Right Here, Waiting on Your Return. But now it means for me, the return of Jesus. And I said, oh, well, that's a brand new song. you know. Mm -hmm. But it's my first uh, live concert tour in England ever. Uh. Wow. So this is the beginning of the tours that should have happened 20 years ago. But as you see, I've been getting ready. <laughs> well, you are absolutely ready because you are rocking that dress. You absolutely are in the gloves and the shoes and everything. But I mean, you just look beautiful and you're absolutely glowing. There's something going on on the inside, too. Absolutely. So I guess that's God, right? Absolutely. I know it's God, right? Yes, absolutely. Well, I mean, I just pray that everything continues to go well for you, that you'll just fly high and dream and live and love and just go get them. <laughs> and I know that you will here. Thank you. All right. Yes. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for hanging out with us Thank tonight. You. We appreciate it here. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time? Yes. All right. You heard that from Melba Moore herself. We're going to have a good time. <laughs>